Is this the right thing to do? Joining us now is Ben Ferguson, syndicated talk radio host with Icon Radio Network. And we also have Democratic strategist Chris Kafinas. Guys, good to see you. Here's how this works. I give you each 30 seconds, <laughs> and then we let it loose. And I cut you off if you go too long. Ben, you go first. You get 30 seconds to say why you think this is a bad idea. Well, it's a terrible idea because the fact of the matter is you've got billions of dollars of American assets, of our taxpayers' dollars at companies, and you're going to say you're going to limit the pay of what the guy in charge is going to make or the guys in charge? Think about it. You, an oops on this level could cost the taxpayers billions. I don't care if the guy makes $5 million or $50 million. All I know is I want the best guy that we can possibly get in charge of a bank that's got my money in it. And guess what? They're trying to act like these guys, once again, that big business is so bad. If you're rich, you're an evil person. And to me, I want the most seconds. expensive guy. Chris Kafinas, you get 30 <laughs> seconds. I, mean, I, I think it's very simple. What the, the Obama administration is trying to do here is manage the risk-taking behavior that we, we saw had terrible, dire consequences over the last years. I mean, the, the notion somehow you're going to reward individuals who basically make bad decisions and then not only put in jeopardy their company, but put in jeopardy the economy, I think is something that the Obama administration is focusing on. I think it's a smart thing to do. Now, this is not about micromanaging. You're it's not about micromanaging the economy, what people make. It's about making sure that you're not rewarding bad behavior. Okay, that was 30 seconds. The, ben, you got a response to that? Yeah, I mean, most of the guys out there that are, were making the bad decisions were already gone. The shareholders have gotten rid of them. And now what we do is we have the government in the middle of the private sector, and they're saying, hey, not only are you taking our money, but we're going to limit what you can make. Good people that are really good are not going to take well, these jobs. Listen, you so saw, I've got guys that aren't that great. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me just finish. You're going to have guys that aren't that great that are now taking jobs in charge of hundreds yeah, of billions of dollars of our did money. Yeah, but you haven't answered his question. Did the system incentivize too much risk-taking? That's his point. Oh, absolutely, but I think we've already corrected that, and I don't need we the haven't president that, micromanaging this. That is the this. point of what the Obama administration sure is have. trying to do. No, we have not. This is the whole point of having a stronger <laughs> regulatory system. This is the whole point how of does, making sure that we have how smart does making, enforcement. How does mandating what a person can make? I mean, you tell me how much is too much. Where are they going to draw it's the not line? Mandating, it's not 000? about mandating what people make. It's about making sure... sure that you're not incentivizing bad behavior, risk-taking behavior that puts in jeopardy not only their company, uh, the shareholders, but, but Chris, also the economy. But Chris, answer Ben's criticism. Obviously, are we at risk of not having the best people there, and is the taxpayer at risk and not getting paid back as a result? No, I mean these are still industries that are going to attract, I think, smart people who are going to, you know, who are going to make a lot of money. But all, what we do not want is an industry that repeats the mistakes that we saw over the last many years. If you look at that Wall Street Journal article, that chart of the bonuses and how it's grown and exploded over the last five plus years, it is obvious that we were incentivizing bad behavior. That cannot allow to happen. I, we I, cannot afford, this country cannot afford I, another financial crisis of this scope in four, eight, 12 years, whatever it might be down there. We I, cannot. I don't disagree. I don't disagree that in the past that people there was incentivized to take bigger risks. But you you must be listening to a very different president and budget director and Timothy Geithner and others that I'm listening to because what I've seen them say is they have made these guys out to be villains, anyone in banking, anyone in business, and they're going to lower the salary so much so that you are not going to get the most no, that, brilliant and best the, people that's who are in charge true. of and millions I'll tell you and the point billions that, of dollars. No, that's not true. And here's the, por the point that I think I always, that always boggles <laughs> my mind coming from the political world. There are really smart people in the financial industry, financial industry who don't seem to understand politics. Take the aggressive steps in yourself. Make, take the step to basically say, we're going to change our behavior. We're going to take, for example, a key set of decisions that make sure that these but, type but of Chris, things you know, don't happen But Chris, you know what those again. guys would say? They would say, why don't the politicians understand economics? They do understand economics. Oh, no, By the way, yes, they do. If they, if, <laughs> they, they if, no the people, if the people in Wall Street understood economics as well as supposedly they did, we would not have my, the financial my, crisis that we have right now. Mer I mean, this look happened at, look by smart politics. people making look at, bad look decisions. At represent, it, look, at, look at Representative Murtha, prime example. Got an airstrip named after him that cost $800,000 that even the airport itself said they did not need. Don't tell me they understand economics. And more importantly than that, these are the same people that were in favor of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac lending money to high-risk people, which got us here in the first place. And that's a fact. Well, I mean, so so what is the solution? The solution is to put your head in the sand and not do anything? I mean, no, I think what you're seeing uh, from the Obama is, administration... You're making this way is too it, complicated. No, it's you're not making this making way too complicated. complicated. The government needs to is, stay... No, the, it, the notion My that friend, somehow the government, government, government needs to find a appropriate role. You can't go too far. 
You can't completely stay out of it. And it's and always my, a and balancing act. And my point is this: is that your they're going, point is the going, government has no you role. You want to talk about that too is far? Nonsensical. Look at what look at what they're trying to do. Look at what they're trying to do. You want to talk about going too far? They're now going to start mandating what banks, what these guys and directors can make at banks that did not take the TARP funds, yeah, what that did about not that? take bailout, did not take cash. Well, because the idea here is to prevent another crisis. <laughs> <laughs> the the okay. idea here is to take the there. preemptive you're steps. Talking, That's the point. You're talking mom and pop banks. You're talking mom and pop no, home we're banks. Gonna, Timothy no, Geiger we're going to let you do this during the on. commercial break. This was good stuff, guys. Chris Kofinas, <laughs> good job. Ben, good to see you. We'll have you back. We're going to see you back. I don't think it's a question of taxing. You have to come up with a sufficient amount of resources in order to pay for the program that's going to be able to cover 50 million people. Ben, I mean, uh, statistics uh, it, may it, lie, it, but it, demographics it, don't. And we're all getting <laughs> older, and we're going to get uh, and have a greater need for health care down the road. The president has a good point there, don't I, you think? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know how these guys in the White House right now come up with this. It's like they get out of bed and they're like, hey, here's an idea. We ran on an idea that 50 million Americans don't have health care. Let's tax the people that do have it, and then it'll go up to 60 or 70. I actually think this is a brilliant move by the Obama administration to do one thing. Make it where it's unaffordable for private industry to actually give a benefit of health care, which will put more people on the uninsured well, actually, list. Actually, that actually and is then not they have, Hold on. And then they, have a, wait, wait, no, then, they have a bigger, then they have a bigger out to say, now we've got to have socialized medicine because now it's 60, 000, 60 million people, 70 million without health care. Yeah, that's that's you not know, accurate. They, you already have companies. Okay. You've already, you already have companies that are cutting 401k matching. Now you're going to make them be taxed on their insurance? Okay, let, me actually, okay. let me hear from Chris, Chris. on this. He, he, what actually is happening, one, the proposal that you're talking about was, is you know, being, being discussed uh, uh, in, the, in the committees in Congress, specifically uh, Max Baucus and others were talking about. This, this is not a, an Obama administration proposal. When in particular, sure it in is. No, it's Come not. on. In terms well, of the specific, Max Baucus wants it. In terms of the specific <laughs> idea... The notion is, do you basically have people who are getting, if you will, Cadillac health care programs and, and who, that are not taxed and putting an extra burden because Cadillac, of, of, so their, now, of their programs? Now you're, now you're angry that people have really good health care? Let me get this straight. You're now no, saying it's that it's unfair of, it's for some of, Americans to have great health care because they work very hard. Real, is this no, America we're you know talking it, about no, here? No, what you're talking about is coming up with a solution that helps provide health care to 50 million people. Here's the part that I always Give find Here's the part that I always find funny about people who are, you know, you know, on, on your side of the ideological spectrum. You know, everything that you propose in terms of dealing with health care, you had a chance to implement when George Bush was president, when you controlled Congress. And you tried. And by the way, the health care crisis got worse. The burden on business got worse. Our lack of our ability uh, to compete and I'll with go back, other countries I'll go back that have health care got worse. My friend, my friend, it's called Politics 101. Go back to the days of Hillary Clinton when she tried to do the same thing Obama's doing now. And you tell no, me see, how I successful that, you're that was while her husband was president. You know why you're wrong America. about this? Look at what happened just a few days ago with the president where you had healthcare industry, corporations. The difference is that country has fundamentally changed from where it was ideologically and politically in 1994. I, I go, they want, I go, I go back to businesses, my... the American people, they want health care. That's why you saw them come out you're, and you're, announce you're, industry again, announced again, two no one, trillion no dollars in that cuts. They don't... That I, no one's saying that they don't want health care. I want health care. You want health care. But I can tell you this much. You go and tax private industry on the money they're spending on health care because you want to be able to give a handout to buy votes. And I think it's part not, of this is an issue that no one wants to go there. Let me finish. 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 is not a handout. Health care is not a handout. No, you're, you're you right, but guess what? You we, don't tax something that's not a handout either. Right, you make go. sure people can afford it. Got to go, guys. Ben, thanks for your time. See you later.